Yeah, welcome back to Holistic Harvest. Uh, it's been five days since we've done our soil blocks for our personal garden soil blocks. Um, I've just seen some growth on them. Um, we've had a really good germination in only five days. It's actually pretty amazing. Yeah, it's summertime here, so that's sort of goes without saying, but just testament to the soil blocks and how we made them and they used to do the worm castings and things like that that made them germinate so quickly this plant was obviously happy enough to germinate. Starting from this end we've got nothing. Then we've got the broccoli. These are broccoli. These are a climbing bean. Is that, excuse me, I got a bit of a cold at the moment. These are cabbage couple coming up. Not too bad. These ones aren't planted yet. All of these are snow pea. So I think there's like 100% germination there. Same, same as up here. <laughs> Two different types of corn. We've got the Jolly Roger and uh, I can't remember that one. But uh, still coming through. And the snap peas. The bunching onions haven't come through yet. And here there's the strawberry, that's the the white white strawberry. And you got kale, dwarf kale, this one. Must be six coles lettuce. Brussels sprouts, so they're a brassica as well, same as the um, the broccoli, that's why they come through so good. And then we got lion's tongue lettuce, got a couple of those coming up, which is pretty cool. Asparagus pea, nothing yet. And these four winged beans, nothing yet. Possibly something just here. See the seed popping out. Yeah. So they look pretty good overall. Um, the beans do look a bit leggy, they can go out, but we were just waiting. It's uh, 36 degrees here today, we're waiting to see what happens over the next few days. It's meant to be 39, 40 tomorrow. Uh, and they're all leaning towards the sun because they're actually in the middle of the shed here. So, that's okay. So. Well, there you go, there's a look at what happens with your soil blocks and um, how the germination went. This is brand new seed, this year's seed. It's not old seed, so that, that, that helps too. And yeah, it's just a really good germination overall. Some things can go out, we're just waiting for a bit cooler day. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Uh, Zeke from Holistic Harvest, uh, welcome back for another episode. Just uh, checking the baby chickens to see if they can go out with the big chickens. Quick eyeball of the baby chickens. Not so much baby, that's why we're having a quick look. I think they might be right to go out with the big chickens. Big chickens. Chicken. Cranky chicken. Oh, vicious thing. Look in here. Okay. Come on, snatch again. Go and eat some food. Give us your eggs. You're not even sitting on them. Come on, a woman. After you go. There's Zeke from Holistic Harvest back again. We're just getting some logs to chuck some um, some spent mushroom uh, things on. I don't know what you call them. We have selected the bendy piece. This other bendy piece. And this piece. <laughs> so we're in Australia. Uh, we don't have very many. I know it would be easily available. Not where we are anyway. We've got iron bark. It's uh, the closest we got to an inert wood. It doesn't have any tannin in it like a eucalyptus does. So that'll be really good for the the mushrooms to take a hold on to. Ones with tannins don't really like it.
we'll just come up this swale here just behind the shed thought it'd be a pretty good spot here this has mostly shade early morning sun should be all right and i've just got the, the spent bags of um mushroom mycelium so they should populate the logs well and they're uh, oyster type mushrooms so at least we'll tell the difference between them and other types of mushrooms so there's one mushroom log there just put the mushroom stuff down and log on top there's another one there And the last one, just there. We'll see how they go and how they populate. The reason for the iron bark with the mushrooms is it's an inert, it's an inert wood. Uh, so usually you'd use some other types of wood. <laughs> 